Once you have your output resolution set, your inputs mapped and sized correctly, it's time to look at the auxes. The auxes is where we're going to be able to control our outputs as screens. We can set up the auxes as uh, cuts only auxes using the system auxes. These are all native SDI outputs. Uh, they're again cuts only like a router output. Or we can use our universal output cards or UOC uh, to control the projectors directly. They can then uh, convert resolutions to the projector native resolution, therefore bypassing the scaler in the projector. As well as each of these outputs has a mixer on board. So these are like screen pros, if you would. We're able to mix from full screen source to full screen source at each one of the aux cards without ever touching our mix effects buses. Let's start by looking at the setup. When we go into the setup menu of the universal output card, you'll notice we have an output format. Very much like an Image Pro, we can select a variety of output formats. In this case, say we're using an XGA projector 1024768. We just hit apply to confirm the format. I can also go into my advanced setup and we have adjustments for totals, actives and positions, the sync, as well as offset timing. You'll also notice there's a little info button there for offset timing that allows you to actually time the output of the card to an external reference source. Additionally, you'll see an output status window here that tells you which connectors of the card are active. So when we're outputting 1024768, you'll notice you have output on analog and output on DVI, but not on SDI. If we were to select an output format that's supported by SDI, for instance, a HD format, for instance, uh, 1080i. Now we get our BNC connector indicating that we're supporting an HD format. Now if we have multiple projectors running the same resolution, we also have the ability to copy these settings to additional output uh, uh, cards. So by hitting copy all settings, I can then copy them to the other aux cards thereby automatically setting them up. We can then go in and individually size and position the outputs of these auxes. Uh, this is very useful in the case of uh, overshooting. Your projector is shooting a little wide. You can then size down a little bit as necessary or in, in the case of uh, record where you need to do an under sample. Also in the uh, color correction section we can on the fly color correct the projectors if they do uh, happen to drift during the show. Once we have our resolutions set up, we can then come in and name the auxes. So this might be uh, left projector and this one might be our right projector. Maybe our center projector. And maybe this is a downstage monitor. Our four screen show. All these are currently outputting 1024 by 768. There again, resolutions can be changed based on the natives of the projector. I've set up our system native output resolution to be 1280 by 720p because we're running 1024 by 768 projectors. It's very close to the resolution, therefore very little scaling will have to happen. The other thing that we can do is if we have several 4x3 sources coming in, we can then size the output of the universal output card to match that of the uh, 4x3 sources. Once we have our auxes named, we can then go ahead and assign them to various places in the switcher. Now, I'm not using my native auxes at this point, so we'll go ahead and unassign all of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and patch my auxes appropriately. But the first thing I'm going to do is turn them into mixers. What this will allow me to do is mix from source to source. Any source coming into the system will be available to the universal output card, allowing it to dissolve from one source to another. 
they're again creating that uh, kind of miniature screen pro effect. So I'm going to go ahead and map to panel. I'm going to map my program side of this aux to source to button two and the preview side to button number one. So one will be my preview, two will be my program, and I'll just go through and do that uh, for all the rest of my auxes here. All right, so we have our previews and programs now mapped accordingly. So one crucial step after you've assigned your auxes and named them is to name the previews. This allows you to easily find them later when you're adding them to your multi-viewer. So we'll go ahead and come in and name our previews. This will allow us in the multi-viewer to easily assign these. If you don't, it can get a little confusing when you're trying to determine if AUX7 or AUX15 was your preview for your projector left or right. The previews are essential because it lets you see what you're doing before you make it happen. It also allows you to preset your entire AUX switch and take care of it all on one transition. And that's set up for the AUXs. We've now created that 1604 approach where we have our four outputs and several inputs. In, the, in this case, it's a 1404, 14 inputs. If you count the stills, we're now above that. Uh, again, multiple cards can be in inserted into the system to increase or decrease the inputs or the outputs. We have our four scaled outputs for our projectors. Additionally, we still have six cuts only auxes that can be sent additional places such as record decks or uh, other rooms.